Hi, pre -Ks. Come on in. Find a spot you like a lot. One, two, three. Find a spot you like a lot. Listen to me. Find a spot you like a lot. Three, two, one. Find a spot you like a lot. We always have fun. Come on in. This week it's all about the big K. You're moving on up where? To kindergarten. Oh, that great big school with lots and lots of friends. You're moving on up, moving on up where? To kindergarten. The fun will never end. So exciting. You're moving on out. You are graduating to a brand new school. So it's important you know what's going to be going on there. So this week it's all about the big K kindergarten let's find out what happens tick tock goes that clock another day is here the last time i saw you was tuesday tuesday to you tuesday the last time i saw you was tuesday but no 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 that's not today after tuesday comes whoa 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 wednesday whoa, whoa, whoa wednesday whoa, whoa wednesday smack in the middle of the week yes it's wednesday whoa, whoa, whoa wednesday a Wednesday smack in the middle of the week. We are at the beginning of the month. Yesterday was the number two, the second day in the month. And after two comes three around the tree and around the tree makes the number three. We'll put the three right there on Wednesday. I'm stuck in the middle with you on a brand new month. What comes after the month of May? Did you say June, it's a month of June. I sing a sad tune. When we get to June, it always comes to soon. June is a happy month because you are going to be graduating and that's so much fun and so exciting. But it's a sad month because I'm going to miss you very, very much when you go to kindergarten. But June is the last month we're together for school. This is the last month of school. We've been here for a long time. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, and now June. We've been here for 10 months and that's the school year. But now it's over, it's really over, but more exciting things are coming around the bend. It's over, our school year is over, but there's always something new and exciting coming around the bend to look forward to. And we're getting ready for our big graduation here at Pipe Piper School to help you get excited about that big K kindergarten. Now we also learned a lot about the clock. We found out that the clock, so bossy, 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 telling me what to do and you all day long can also be your friend. So this week we're talking about each hour what goes on. So let's look at our digital clock first. Our digital clock is so easy to read. It has the hours and it has the minutes and you find it everywhere in your house. So we will take a look at that one first. On the left, I'm gonna put the hour of nine because nine o'clock is when many of you arrive at school. I'm gonna put zero, zero for the minutes because most of you come when the big hand is on the 12, the hour has not begun yet, and the little hand is on the nine. That is fine. But next year it will look like this. It will look like this on the clock at your school. Now when Kathy sees nine o'clock, I know Jeopardy has to finish up. Tick tock goes the clock. Colette has to start her stretches as the day it passes. That minute hand keeps going around. Then Kathy comes over to talk to you. Tick tock goes the clock. I tell you all about our big plans for the day as the day goes by. And then we go to the tables to do our work. And we work and Kathy says, oh my goodness, when that big hand is up back to the top, go play, go play, go play, I say. That's what happens at Pipe Piper School when we're watching the clock starting at nine. Next year you'll have a new schedule, but that clock will still tell you what to do. All right, well, Kathy said I have to help you get ready for the big K, big kindergarten, and I'm ready, are you? I'm ready to talk about it. Now, we said that in all the other years, my pre-Ks have gone to visit their school. They did two things at their new school. Both began with the letter T. 
They did some testing. They would ask him questions about colors. You know your colors. And shapes. Oh, you know your shapes. Letters, numbers. You know all that. The sounds the letters make. We're still working on some of those. Rhyming words and sight words. They would test you. Now, we've been talking about tests when we do our spelling tests on Friday. It's really just a way that the teacher can know how well they are teaching. It's our job to teach you the information. And if we're doing a good job, a good job, then you understand all the things we've been teaching you. If not, we have to work harder. We have to work harder. So they just want to know how hard they're going to have to work in kindergarten. So they do some testing. They also take you on a tour, a tour of the whole building. You get to see everything when you go. But this year, I'm sorry to say that's not going to happen. The schools are still closed, so you won't be able to go in and visit. You won't be able to see the school till before school begins in September. Then I hope they take you for a tour and maybe to do their testing. Until then, Kathy has to rely on my memory. What did all those pre-Ks tell me last year? Or a book. Because if you want to learn, take a look at a book. And we read the story, Miss Bindegarten goes to kindergarten, remember? So I want you to take a look at that classroom. Maybe that can help us. Remember what it looked like at the beginning? Oh, it didn't look fun at all. That was the way it looked in the summertime. And that's what's going to be happening now. The schools are going to be closed for the summer. They will be cleaning and organizing and getting ready for you to come in the fall. So let's take a look at how that room looked in the fall time of year, right before the children went to kindergarten. There it is. And I think this is going to be very similar to your room next year. So let's take a look and see the things that are the same and the things that are different. Well, it looks like a room. Do you have a room here at Pipe Piper? Sure we do. But is our room bigger or smaller? If you said bigger, you're correct. We have two huge rooms here that you get to spend your time in. Different things in different sides. But your new kindergarten class, take a look, is just going to be one room. One room, that's a little different. Take a look at the teacher. How many teachers do you see? Only one. Here at Pied Piper School, you have many teachers, many people to help you. Marissa helps you put your things away. Colette, get your body ready to learn. We work at the table with Max and Danielle. We have many teachers. Renee does artwork with you. Many teachers who help you here, there's only one. That's a little bit different. You're gonna have to wait your turn and not expect to get so much help from the teacher. That's why Kathy's been helping you with direction words so you can do the papers by yourself. Helping you learn to read so you can always read your own directions. Helping you learn what to expect and how to tie your shoes because the teacher can't do all those when there's only one teacher. All right, let's take a look. Do you see any tables? Oh, I do. There's tables. We have tables here at Pied Piper. Same, same. How about chairs? Oh, yeah. They're not green, but they're chairs. Oh, do we have cabinets with books? Yes, but ours is a book corner. I don't see any comfy chairs to sit in here by the books. Do we have a globe? Oh, yes. We have a globe just like that. How about pets? Oh, yeah. She has a pet. We have pets, too. Blocks. We have blocks just like that, but they're in our blue room. We have block containers. Now, here's baskets over there. Are they full of Legos? Oh, no. No constructs, no, no, they've got names on them. So each child has a basket, but there's not as many toys. Oh, I see easels. We have easels here at Pied Piper School, right? We have easels. I see a calendar. We have a calendar. There's that clock i was been talking about, that clock. There's number lines and letter lines. Oh, those are all the same, same, same. But do you see a climbing tower? No, I don't see a climbing tower. Do you see any piano? No, I don't think. The teacher's gonna play the piano. Any house? Any kitchen corner? Oh, there's a little tiny, little tiny kitchen corner. Little tiny place where you can go for the kitchen corner. There's a little farm, maybe a couple weebles, but no. It's a little different than your Pied Piper classroom. Some things are the same and some things will be different. And I think this room gives us a good idea where to start. And our story today is, look out kindergarten, here I come. Let's find out with our story today. Maybe that will help us learn about kindergarten too. Look out, kindergarten. Here I come by Nancy Carlson.
Wake up, wake up, said Henry's mom. It's the first day of kindergarten. Remember, you don't start in the summertime, not until September in the fall. Oh boy, oh boy, let's go, said Henry. He'd been getting ready for this day all year in pre-K. Not so fast, said his mom. First, you need to wash up and get dressed. So Henry brushes his teeth the way his dentist had shown him, and he washed behind his ears like his mom told him to. And he buttoned his shirt, his nice dress shirt, and snapped his jeans, and he almost tied his shoes. He had been working on that all spring. Okay, I'm ready. I'm all ready for kindergarten, said Henry. Not so fast, said his mom. First, you need a good, healthy breakfast. So Henry ate three pancakes and a bowl of fruit and drank a big glass of milk. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go, said Henry. Not so fast, said his mom. You still need to pack up your supplies in your backpack. So Henry packed his pencils and his scissors and his crayons and his paper and his glue stick and an apple and a photo of his mom and dad just in case he felt lonely. Now I'm ready, I'm ready, said Henry. What do you think we'll do first, asked Henry. Do you think we'll paint a picture? I don't know, said his mom. You might, just like at home. That sounds good, and I did that at preschool. I know how to paint a picture. Do you think I'm going to learn my ABCs and how to read, he asked his mom. Well, you've been learning those at preschool, and I'm sure your teacher is going to help you continue to learn to read. Well, I already know the letters in my name, said Henry. I wonder what we'll do after that. Do you think we'll sing songs? Well, you might, said his mom, because music is one of the specials you have at school. How about playing games with a ball, asked Henry. It might be gym day, said his mom, and you might be working with a gym teacher playing ball. How about counting? Do you think we'll be counting? You might. You've been counting for a long time. You might be putting numbers together in addition or taking them part in subtraction. I'm a great counter, said Henry. One, two, three flowers. I can count to 10, even 100. I've been practicing. What will come next? Well, you might make things in arts and crafts if it's art day, said his mom. And you'll read stories. It's always fun to read stories in class. Or you could go to the library where the librarian will read you stories. I wish I could read, said Henry. It's okay. You're going to start by listening and learning and reading will come soon. Here you are, said Henry's mom. We're here. But wait a minute. It's so big. The building's so big. What if I get lost? Remember, we found your room and your cubby at the kindergarten roundup when you went to visit the school. You should remember from that, said his mom. But there's always a teacher there to ask for help. When Henry got to his room, he saw lots of new faces. I don't know. Those are people I don't know. I want to go home, said Henry. Why don't you come in and look around, said his teacher, Mrs. Bradley. is always new friends to make. So he looked around. He saw the easels just like he had at preschool. He saw the numbers on the board and the letter line just like he had at preschool. He saw the bookcases full of books, and there were friends to play with, just like Pied Piper School. Well, what do you think? asked Henry's mom. I think I like kindergarten, said Henry, because kindergarten is going to be fun. And you might have some of those same feelings Henry did, but remember, kindergarten is going to be fun, that's for sure.